Did former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy just admit that Matt Gates slept with a minor? It would sure appear so. At an event at Georgetown University, while discussing his removal from the speakership, Kevin McCarthy said, quote, I'll give you the truth of why I'm not speaker. It's because one person, a member of Congress, wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17-year-old. Did he do it or not? I don't know. And the member of Congress in question has to be none other than Matt Gates, who was still a sitting member of Congress. You made a lot of concessions. In all the that, negotiations. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay. okay is that Let's the get to the bottom of that. Right? That, no, no, that no, no, is no, no, such no. a misnomer right. in life. Let me give you the truth about that now. <laughs> and I'll give you the truth why I'm not speaker. It's because one person, a member of Congress, wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17 year old. An ethics complaint that started before I ever became speaker, and that's illegal, and I'm not going to get in the middle. Did he do it or not? I don't know. But an ethics is looking at it. There's other people in jail because of it. And he wanted me to influence it. So if you're out there campaigning and running as a Paul Ryan or Kevin McCarthy Republican, my message to you is this. They don't work here anymore. <laughs> CNN is accusing me of wiping out institutional knowledge. But if you had knowledge of some of my coworkers, and how they made decisions, you'd want to put them in the institution. As McCarthy pointed out, the House ethics investigation into Matt Gates started in 2021, prior to when McCarthy became Speaker of the House. Nancy Pelosi was Speaker at the time. The investigation came about because in 2020, Joel Greenberg, an associate of Gates's, was arrested in Florida and indicted on 33 criminal counts, including sex trafficking of a minor, aggravated identity theft, cryptocurrency fraud, loan fraud, stalking, and more. In 2021, Greenberg took a plea deal while pleading guilty to six federal charges, one of which was sex trafficking of a minor. Per the terms of the plea deal, Greenberg began cooperating with federal investigators regarding the scope of his sex trafficking operation and his association with Matt Gates. It was during this time that the Department of Justice started investigating Gates regarding his involvement in the sex trafficking operation, specifically whether or not he paid for sex and had sex with a minor. That's also, by the way, known as statutory rape. Greenberg was ultimately sentenced to 11 years in prison given his extensive criminal resume, but Gates wasn't quite off the hook. In February 2023, prosecutors did not recommend charging Gates in the sex trafficking probe, basically because the case against him wasn't deemed to be strong enough to convince a jury to convict. But at that point, the investigation kicked back over to the House, with the House ethics investigation picking back up. Kevin McCarthy had been made Speaker of the House just the previous month. Again, I only know what I've read in the New York Times. Uh, I can say that actually you and I went to dinner uh, about two years ago. Your wife was there and I brought a friend of mine, you'll remember her, and she was actually threatened by the FBI, told that if she wouldn't cop to the fact that somehow I was involved in some pay for play scheme, uh, that she could face trouble. I, I don't remember the, the woman you're speaking of or the context at all, honestly. Less than a year later, in October 2023, Kevin McCarthy would be removed from the speakership following a motion to vacate led by none other than Matt Gates. And while McCarthy didn't mention Gates by name in his Georgetown interview, he did explicitly identify Matt Gates and his ethics complaint in a recent interview with Face the Nation. He said regarding the motion to vacate, quote, Matt's case was much different. It was about a personal thing that he had done, and that's what he was trying to get something illegally stopped. When asked specifically about Matt Gates and the allegations against him, McCarthy said, quote, it was purely Matt coming to me trying to get me to do something illegal to stop the ethics committee from moving forward in an investigation that was started long before I became speaker. He went on to say, quote, I don't know what the facts are there. It's a personal issue of what he'd done as a member of Congress. I simply would say the Ethics Committee has the right to look at whatever's there going forward 
and I'm not going to get in the middle of it one way or another. So in the Face the Nation interview, he did suggest that Gates had done what he'd been accused of doing, but McCarthy could have just misspoken there. I don't think it's unreasonable to believe that McCarthy really doesn't know the details of what happened between Gates, Greenberg, and the woman in question. But speaking of the accuser, last month, Gates was issued a subpoena by lawyers representing the woman. Gates was subpoenaed to sit for a deposition under oath earlier this month, but it's been pushed back to June. This is all part of a civil defamation and racketeering lawsuit filed by Gates' associate, Chris Dorworth. Dorworth is alleging that Joel Greenberg was behind a convoluted plan to falsely accuse him and others of, quote, child sex trafficking, sex with a minor, prostitution, obstruction of justice, and an illegal ghost candidate scheme. He alleges that the victim was a party to Greenberg working with him to frame Dorworth, Gates, and others. The ghost candidate scheme falls in line with what Gates had said in the past. In 2021, when Tucker Carlson asked Gates about the 17-year-old girl during an interview on Fox News, Gates responded, quote, The person doesn't exist. I have not had a relationship with a 17-year-old. That is totally false. Gates is not a party in the civil suit, but he is mentioned by name several times throughout. If and when Gates ever does sit for the deposition, he likely have to discuss the matter under oath. Up until now, he's denied all involvement with the accuser. So that's where we are with this. In the meantime, Matt Gates is still a sitting member of Congress and he's influential enough that he was able to remove a House Speaker. Now it looks like McCarthy is tired of having other people tell his stories, so he appears to be unmuzzled. How interesting. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my podcast, Modern Context. Thanks.